Piston Inspection 101. Just wanted to go over some stuff we measure before we put these bad boys in your bike. There's a couple things we want to look at. One is the ring land, and then we want to make sure the rings are on point of the specs are supposed to be from the manufacturer. So a cool item we have right here is we have a plug made to a certain thickness which matches our ring lands and what we want to do is we want to go around our pistons with our plug. Check this out. It's a plug. It's really cool. This is taking place of what you would normally have which would be a feeler gauge. Feeler gauges are awesome but this guy's round. There's no sharp edges on it. It's really easy for us to use. Plus it's down to a tenth, a half of a tenth where we didn't have that necessarily in your normal feeler gauge kit. But if your piston's set up for a normal number and you have a feeler gauge, this guy will work the same to make sure. What we're doing with the plug is we're gonna go in the ring lands and make sure that it fits right in. So take a look at this. We're gonna put it in the ring land to make sure it fits right in, okay? And we're gonna check it in about 10 different spots on the piston to make sure that this piston is to their correct specifications of what it should be. And then we'll check the second land as well. Make sure the second land has the same thickness. Then what is nice to do to a piston is visually inspect it. Visually inspect the sides because if someone drops this guy and it hits a table, it will smash that land down and it will smash it down enough where it will grab a ring and you can have it fail in your motor relatively soon when assembling a motor. So visual inspection is always nice. Make sure there's no marks, no scuffs on them. Make sure it never been dropped either at your facility or the manufacturer's facility when you open them up. Piston looks great. So we move on to the second one. Also, we're going to look at the skirts. Make sure there's no marks on the skirts and everything looks good. And then it's a good practice to visually look at your pin bore. Make sure that guy's nice and clean. Um, the pistons we do in our motors, we have full skirts on the front piston and we now relief the front of the rear piston for your relief when it comes down. George Bryce from Star Racing taught me that. So we want to keep the, the major on the front and we don't want to cut the major on this guy and lose some material because that guy is the driving. When it's coming down, you want your major face to have all the support it can. We want to keep this major of all the support so we take a little bit out of the minor skirt on the rear piston. That way when they come to the bottom, they look like this. We're not cutting both. Something we do on our pistons are a little different from some other pistons you'll see out there on the market. And then of course our pistons are CNC lightened on the bottom. Molly coating on the skirts. And we have this ceramic coating on the top of the piston. You've seen that in a couple other videos we've done. That's typically how we do our high-end kits. So besides looking at the ring lands on the piston, we also want to check the rings to make sure they're on spec. This is for a customer's bike we're doing today. He's buying a set. We're shipping them to him. We're just going to inspect them before they go out of our door to go see them. I already know what the spec is because we do them all the time. But this ring is 0 .0354. Got a micrometer. Because the micrometer is going to let me get all the way down to the tenth. 0 .035. And then there's four, but it's easy to see two quick check is we're in between the five and the six right there. So that's lets me know it's three, five, four. All right, but this guy gets you down to the tenth. And we check her in about six different spots to make sure she's right on where she needs to be. Look at that. On the money. Most of the time everything's on the money. So we measure it. Something I learned is we measure what we know to measure. As we get busier and we do more motors, we start to dive in to the little things we never used to do before. We do hear guys say they measure everything. I was one of them. I can tell you what, those guys say they measure everything. They probably haven't measured their ring. So just good practice. We'll go through it. Just a quick rundown of what we do to double check stuff before we assemble it in the motor. So this set will go out. Everything looks really good. I check the top rings. I'll check the second rings. No reason to watch me do that. I'll make sure the second piston's on the money too. We'll ship her. One of the reasons 
you don't see all of our piston cylinder kits all over our site is because we want to have a conversation with you about your compression ratio, what your setup is, make sure this is the right piston, or see if you got to go to one of our other setups. This guy right here is for a 34 close. This is set up for a 592 fueling cam. We also make one set up for like a full race, the MHP 588 or a Ward 550. This guy is a negative 0.5 cc. You can see it's a dome on here. See that dome? Real little bitty guy. It's actually a negative 0.5 and that's because the domes to offset these release in the piston. And we don't make the release for every cam on the market. We make these for the cam setups we do. So there's some big cams that maybe our reliefs aren't set up for. We don't want you to buy a piston cylinder set from us, not work with the parts you have. Now it'd be rare for a big, big cam not to work with ours, but there are a couple on the market we have seen that don't work with our reliefs. We set up our reliefs to work with our setup because we want these tight and not to make them just real big and loose for everything. So we want to have a conversation with you about your setup to see maybe if you're pairing these to your heads, if it works, or if you want one of our full setups, we want to pick out your cam, to your piston, to your head we're going to supply. So compression ratio, you got three factors to think about, or, or actually more. You have how far in or out your piston is going to be of your cylinder. You have what your volume, negative or positive, your dome is, the cc's of the head you're going to be running on your bike, and the closing of the intake lobe of your cam. All that factors in for your corrected compression, because we want to make sure it's set up for the fuel you're going to be running. So easy conversation, easy to call us on our number, bam, right here, here's the phone number. You're looking for myself, Jamie Lima, Nick Zanola, Aaron Stottinger, or Michael Van Orton. We have a couple other guys that help us on the team, but that's the main guys. And we're going to have a quick conversation of what you're trying to accomplish, your desired output for horsepower and torque, and where you want that power to come in on your graph, and we'll make sure we get you the right setup for you. Man. Cool stuff. Call us.